Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, we are going to learn a second part of our previous uh, video, which is deep cloning. So in our previous video, we have learned how to clone all our records. Okay. Now in this uh, video, we learn how to deep clone our records. For deep cloning, what I mean is uh, in our previous episode, uh, we have cloned all the accounts that are there in our Salesforce database. Okay. But what does deep cloning mean is deep cloning... Uh, is uh let's say you have one account and you have 50 contacts in it okay so for cloning an account that will be called cloning but for cloning the account and as well as its 50 contacts that will call deep cloning so we are going to learn today that uh, so without any further ado, let's dive straight into it. But before that, if you're first timer, say if you're seeing my face or my video for the first time. Anyways, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscribe button below. That will be awesome. Now, without any further delay, let's dive straight into it. Okay, so here uh, in accounts, we have these four accounts and I have one account with my name in which we have two contacts which is Emily Budzen and Steve Wand. okay so now what we'll do is we'll uh, just create a new flow in which we will uh, clone this account as well as these two contacts okay so what we'll do is we'll create a new flow first let's go to flows let's click on the new flow button and we'll create a screen flow Okay, a uh, free form. Hmm. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll first clone the account and then we'll clone the context. Okay, after creating this flow, we will add this flow to the account record detail page. Okay, so let's say near this new contact button, our flow button will be here. Okay, so when we click on it, it will ask us if we want to clone this account and the context if we click on yes it will clone the account as well as its two contacts okay so let's create the flow for uh, cloning the account first let's have a screen element here and a display text in this display text um, let's say first screen we will ask the user are you sure you want to clone this account okay and let's give this screen a name um, user screen okay and let's save it connect it after that if we click on next it will get the account record on which we are right now okay so get account object will be account and what will be the condition so because we are at the account detail page already so we will add a condition uh, which is account id equals to the record id okay so what we'll do is we'll add here id account id equals to now we'll create a new variable so if you have seen my previous videos it is very simple to take the record id from the address bar if you are at the record page okay so let's say if you are at this page and we want to get this id okay that is what i'm talking about right now so what we want to do is we will create a new variable the variable name should be record type if sorry record id that is for sure and the data type will be text it will be available for input so the id here this id this will come in this variable and then the condition will occur that id equals to record id okay and of course we'll just get one record and let's click on done so here we have got our account now uh, let's add a screen again to ask the user what will be the account name right so let's Add account name and done okay now let's drag the create record element here and we'll be creating clone account okay uh, one account we want to create how to set the values use separate resources 
for account record okay now the account name will be the name that we have asked our user which is an xbox this okay now let's say account phone account phone will be from the get record like the get account dot phone okay so phone will be fetched from the previous account details and the name will be different of course uh, to identify which is the new record and now what we want to do is we want to save this account's id to a variable okay so let's store the account id in a variable create a new variable resource type variable where account id okay and this will be text and click on done okay so now what will happen with this create record is it will create a new account okay and it will store the account id in this variable now let's click on done so till this part our account will be cloned our new account will be created now what we want to do is we want to get all the contexts that are there in the account and we want to clone them also okay so let's just drag get records again this time we'll be getting context okay from contact object and here the condition will be where account id equals to the record id same okay because we want to get all the context from the record id and it is select all the records and done okay so by this we have fetched all the context as well now what we want to do is we want to loop through the context okay so before that we need two variables if you have seen my previous loop uh, like cloning episode uh, you will know why these variables are used for otherwise i'll just tell you here okay so one will be a single variable to save a single record of contact and other will be a collection of variable which will save uh, which will contain all the collection of contacts okay so let's say where new contact okay and data type will be record object will be contact because it will be containing of uh, contact okay and just save it and one more variable we'll create which will be a collection variable where new contact call okay and record type contact allow multiple values because this will be collecting a, a context so uh, we need to check the allow multiple values okay now let's click on done now let's go to loop and drag a loop element here because we want to loop through the context okay so loop through context and here are the contacts and that is it loop is a very simple uh, element here okay okay so now why we have taken these variables because it is not advised to use any dml operations or any dml queries inside the loop right so what we'll do is while looping through the context we will not just create the context we will first save the context in a single variable and then uh, assign it to a collection variable and then we'll just loop through it, loop through it, loop through it. After the last loop iteration, after the last loop item, we will create the accounts with the collection variable, okay? Let me just show you how it's done. Um, loop. Now we'll take assignment element. Assign values to contact variable, okay? What we'll do is, we will add a where new contact dot account id equals to where account id that we have taken from the account okay then where new contact dot first name we will take from this loop so loop dot first name okay and same as then your account dot last name will be loop dot last name. 
okay so here first name and last name will come from a contact of course but the account id will be our new account id so that we have taken from the new variable okay uh let's just save it okay it will ask you for each item in the collection you will click on done yes now let's take another assignment which will just assign contact value to collection okay so Mm, where's our collection variable? Value contact collection. In this value contact collection, we will assign. That means we will add value contact call. Okay. So now let me just explain it to you. So we will loop through the context, right? The first contact will go here in the assignment. In assignment, we will assign the contact values to var new contact variable, right? After that, we will assign the var new contact variable to var new contact collection, okay? That is it. Now let's just reconnect it to the loop. And that is done. Now what will happen after the last item of the loop? After the last item of the loop, we want to create all the contacts, okay? So let's drag a create contact element creating contact multiple and here it will ask you about the collection here you will add the contact collection that you have and done um, let's just drag it to add some space so you'll understand it better okay and for last item, we will connect it here. Sorry. Yeah. So after the last item of the loop, it will go to the create contact and it will create all the contacts that were there in the collection variable. That can be 2, that can be 5, that can be 50. Okay. So our contacts are created. Now let's add a screen. No, sorry. Before that, let's just add an assignment empty the collection okay that will not be used in this flow of course but that is a good practice to do that so we will do that so in where new contact collection we will just create an empty collection variable empty record collection variable and we will assign that so the when you get contact call will be empty as well okay let's click on done and then after create record it will go to this assignment and then lastly we will add a screen in which we'll show display text that uh, process complete okay success and let's click on done that is it our flow is done mm. deep cloning example okay save it and activate it now our work is not done now what we want is we want to create an action button on account object so let's go to button link in action new action and once again hmm, okay in action type we'll select flow in flows we'll select our flow deep tuning example and we'll write uh, let's say clone account okay let's save it after that we'll go to the page layouts and we'll add this button to the page layout so this is the page layout and our button will be in mobile and lightning actions this is our button let's just drag this button here and save it now let's just refresh the record page and see if our button is there and it's right here okay now let's just test our flow let's click on clone account it will ask you are you sure you want to clone this account yes 
account name will be let's say monica ramjindani loan account okay let's just click on next and the process is complete our flow is done let's click on finish let's go to accounts okay now let's click on our account and check if the contacts are there Mm, the contacts are not here. Uh, I think we have done something wrong. Let's delete it and try again. Let's just check it here. Um, okay, so still creating account, it's working fine. Then we are getting the contacts. That is also correct. Loop through the contacts. Mm. For each item, we are adding the values to where new contact, that is right. Then we are assigning it to, okay, we have done something wrong here. So what we have done is we have assigned where new contact collection to where new contact collection, which will be blank. That is a blunder. So we want to assign where new contact to where new contact collection. Okay, that was the mistake right okay so what we are doing is let me just tell you again because we made a blunder here we are adding the uh, account we are adding the context details to where new account variable right now we want to put the where new account variable to the collection variable but what i did was i put the collection in the collection which was blank so nothing happened so now here we have corrected it we have uh, put where new contact to where new contact collection i think that will be fine Let's just save it and activate it and let's check again. <clears throat> okay, let's go to Monica Ram Chintani and let's click on clone account. Yes, we want to clone it. Clone account. Let's click on next. And the process is complete let's check again I think this will be done so let's click on it and see if the contacts are created and yes we have two contacts which is Emily Badzan and Steve Vaughan okay made a mistake that's why the flow was not working so we have corrected that and that is fine okay so now you have understood what is deep cloning deep cloning the uh, record as well as its related components okay so you can clone context you can clone opportunities you can clone anything that is related to the particular object okay so that is it for today i hope you guys like this example i hope this will be useful for you in your uh, organizations or in your learning experience i'll see you super soon in my next video till then bye bye take care and keep learning